Hi everyone, welcome to Sports Broadcast Center. Along with Cormac Warner, Streff, and Sam Barksdale, I'm Reese Burns. Fresh off winning their 18th NBA championship in franchise history, the Boston Celtics are early favorites to repeat next year according to BetMGM. Finals runner up, the Dallas Mavericks open third in 2025 title odds. Wedged between the Celtics and Mavs is the 2023 NBA champion Denver Nuggets. Next year's NBA long shots are the Trailblazers, Wizards, Pistons, Hornets, and Nets. NFL training camps are fast approaching, and one NFL team has its hands full with a star wide receiver. 49ers All-Pro Brandon Ayuk has officially requested a trade after an offseason of unsuccessful attempts to reach a contract extension. Earlier this summer, Ayuk posted a video on TikTok of himself telling former Arizona State teammate and current Washington Commanders quarterback Jaden Tandils that the 49ers don't want him back. Ayuk led the team in catches and yards last season. Former LSU National Championship coach Les Miles has filed a lawsuit against the school in the NCAA in the National Football Foundation. Miles alleges LSU and the NCAA improperly vacated 37 wins from his tenure, rendering him ineligible for the College Football Hall of Fame. Over his 18 seasons at Oklahoma State, LSU, and Kansas, Miles amassed a winning percentage of just below 60%, which is required for the Hall of Fame consideration. The PGA Tour has created a special sponsor exemption for a 15-time major champion, Tiger Woods, based on his exceptional lifetime achievement. Sponsor exemption allows Woods, an 82-time winner on the PGA Tour, to participate in eight signature event that he would not likely qualify for because he isn't playing enough competitive golf. The, the, the combined purse of the eight events is $20 million. Woods suffered serious car injuries at, and so, suffered serious injuries in a car accident in February 2021 20, and has been forced to limit his schedule. The Super Bowl champions, Kansas City Chiefs, might have a new home. Kansas lawmakers approved a plan for luring the Chiefs and Kansas City Royals away from Missouri after authorizing state bonds to help finance new stadiums and practice facilities for both teams on the Kansas side of the metropolitan area. The Chiefs would likely spend $500 to $700 million in private funds on a new stadium. The Chiefs have won three Super Bowls since 2020. That's it for a busy day in sports. For my co-host, Cormac Warner, Chef and Sam Barksdale, I'm Reese Burns. Thanks for watching Sports Broadcasting Center.